wanted to see if this is working for a second here I don't know what the video looks like you know I could see it so I do know what it looks like and there we go there's our first lie of the day but I don't know what it's gonna look like I don't know what the final product's gonna be is what I'm saying you know it's really sunny and I'm not gonna just do this later you know when I get in the mood to want to do it, I get in the mood to want to do it. And then, you know, I don't like to dilly-dally on these things, you know. If I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. And then we feel it, and then we move on. You know, we're not going to do it later. So I'm not going to wait on the sun, okay? I don't understand what the big deal with that is anyway. I mean, we should at this point, like, how much have we advanced? We can't control the sun? You know, like, Elon Musk, get on that. And I don't mean to, like, you know, make demands like that. You know, that's not really me. But it would be, you know, nice of you if, hey, maybe you could turn the sun down a little bit so that the video worked a little better. You know, not a whole lot because then it would be cold, you know, just, just a tiny little bit, you know, in my specific window. You know, the thing is I can mess with the lighting, but I'm just not really sure how to do that. You know what I realized? Somebody told me, James Friel told me this, butterflies only live two weeks. That's insane. I mean, what is really the point if you're just going to live two weeks? I couldn't tell you. You know, it's like the same thing with cicadas. It's like you're chilling underground for like seven years to hang out for like a week and wreak havoc. You know, granted, you're making all the tabloids that week. Like, that week is your week. That week is cicada week. You know, if, if you're coming up one week every seven years. But I just don't understand that. And then it's like, you know, they say they, the cicadas only come every seven years. But, like, in reality, it's like every other year they're like, it's the big coming of cicadas. You know, like, every year is the big coming of cicadas. You know, what is this every seven-year bullshit? You know, if they're alive only seven years apart... How are they laying babies that are, like, born on different years? Like, you're going to have a baby born next year and then every year for the next seven years? It makes no sense, you know? And some people like to, like, throw out different numbers of how long the cicadas live. Honestly, I say we exterminate the cicadas. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. They come around, they show up, they wreak havoc, and they're annoying. They leave their shells all over the place and they creep us out because we don't know what they are. Exterminate cicadas. That's it. I'm completely done with them. I'm completely done with them. And at this point, I have shriveling interest in butterflies. You know, if you're just going to show up for two weeks, I mean, that's crazy. Like, if you think about it, like, the butterfly is chilling in the cocoon and it's wriggling around like an earthworm or whatever the hell it does before it becomes the butterfly. You know, there's the stages. We learned about those in kindergarten. But, hey, that was a lot of years ago. Okay, you expect me to keep all of my knowledge with me at all times? I'm just going to lug around a backpack full of knowledge? What do I look like? You know, that's why we write things down. That's why we have the internet, and that's why we have books. So that I don't have to have my backpack of knowledge, okay? I'm unloading. You know, these knees, these ankles, they're struggling as it is. I'm not going to carry around extra knowledge just so people can know that I know things about butterflies. You know, that's insane. You know, I was befuddled to learn that they'd only live live for like two weeks, you know, and that's it. Like, what is the point? You know, and I get it, they're beautiful. But, like, 
it sounds fruitless, you know, it sounds pointless and it sounds fruitless. There's no need if we're going to have them for two weeks to have them at all. You know, no more butterflies, no more cicadas. And you know what? Today's Aladdin day. Shout out Aladdin. Um, you know, swinging through ropes in the big city, you know, with his monkey. Um, and that's some cool shit, you know. I wish I had a monkey sometimes. The problem is with having a monkey is the monkey, you know, like you need a, you can't house train a monkey for some reason, which I don't understand because if they say monkeys are like almost humans and like just as smart or like the smartest animal, like why can't we train monkeys to not shit in the house? You know, we could train dogs not to shit in the house and I've seen dogs do a lot of dumb things. You know, I've seen them do some smart things, but dogs are not that bright. Nobody has ever accused the dog of being that bright either. That's the thing. People are always out here with the monkeys. You know, you never see Planet of the Dogs. It's Planet of the Apes. You know, the apes are taking over. The dogs didn't take over. You know, but the monkeys are the ones that can't shit, can't figure out that they got to go to the bathroom outside. You know, dogs have figured that out. You know, I think that we need to be a little more realistic with ourselves and have Planet of the Dogs. You know, Planet of the Apes sounds cooler. You know, dogs don't really sound that ferocious, but they're damn smart. You know, like, think about how ferocious we sound. Zero. You know, we have no claws or talons or exoskeletons. I mean, think about a shark. A shark weighs 1,200 pounds. Shark weighs 1,200 pounds. You know, most humans weigh around, give or take, 200 you know, and that's a big give or take. You know, I would say most fit humans are between 150 and 200, roughly. You know, you have a lot of uh, specimens that are above 200. Uh, hopefully, I join that club one day. Um, rolling in at a run round 185 these days. So, you know, we're getting there. We're That's the direction we're headed in. But, you know, even if you're like, what? Let's say, let's say you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson... And you weigh 300 pounds. Or let's say, like, you're Khabib. I'm not going to pronounce Khabib Nurmagomedov. Terrible pronunciation. I wanted to try it, though. I couldn't just leave it there, you know. Khabib Nurmagomedov. I got to tell you what. They have some of the hardest names in the UFC. Like, Kamaru Usman, like, sneaks that A in there. And it's like, you don't really know where that is, you know? Like, it's kind of like you're throwing the A before the U in Usman, you know? Like, Usman. Like, and that's a tough one to pronounce, too. Which, it's deceivingly tricky. But it, it just sneaks up on you. But, like, Kamaru Usman, who is actually my uh, teacher's son. Uh, shout out Mr. Thomas. Yeah, his kid is named uh, Kamaru. Kamaru uh, Usman. And, yeah, now they both beat the shit out of me when I don't show up for class. It's pretty messed up, but this is what happens when you're dealing with uh, warlords, you know? What can you do? You take what you could get. But yeah, I'm done with the monkeys. I'm done with the Planet of the Apes. It's Planet of the Dogs. You know, they're really fucking us with that. You know, they're really like, they think we're idiots or something, thinking that, Oh, monkeys are super smart. You know, next thing they're going to tell me that flamingos are really smart. You know, flamingos aren't even utilizing their full leg spectrum. You know, they have two legs and they're still just using one. They got the one leg and they're perched. You know, maybe the joke's on me. Maybe the flamingo's doing something with the second leg. Real sneaky like sneaking it around the back or, you know, scratching himself. Or maybe he's got like a little like, I don't know, like Game Boy. I don't know. Maybe uh, that's far-fetched. You're right. That's far-fetched. Let's keep this in reality. All I'm saying is like the Flamingo is not even utilizing both its legs. You know, you're not about to start telling me those things are smart. I don't know, but those are three things that I'm ready to get rid of. Well, I didn't name the third one, but. I'm going to name the third one. Butterflies. Sorry. Sorry. Whatever. Oh, cicadas. 
and mosquitoes. No mosquitoes. I'm done with mosquitoes. Nonstop with the mosquito bites all over my body. Name me one good thing that a mosquito does. Like, why do we have them? Like, mosquitoes are literal AIDS. Like, you know, that's a funny joke that people like to say and things are AIDS. But mosquitoes are literally AIDS. They literally carry the AIDS disease around. You know, every 17th mosquito is carrying AIDS. You know, count up how many mosquito bites you have on your body right now. Probably not 17, right? Good thing. You don't want to get to that 17th. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to get to that 17th. Because that 17th mosquito bite, it's bad luck. And you never know with a mixed batch like that what you're going to get. I'm done with mosquitoes, and that's all I'm going to say on it. You know I'm right. You know there's absolutely no need for mosquitoes. This guy just stopped cutting his lawn, and I don't think you'll hear it. You might you might hear it, but probably not. That's why I have a mic, so that you don't have to hear background noises like that. You just get to hear my uh, wonderful, terrible voice. But he stopped mowing the lawn, and it just changed the whole environment. You know, now I'm listening to myself on repeat in my head. Which is really weird, you know, if you think about it. Because it's like you have a thought and then you speak the thought. And like, where does that even come from? You know, I I, don't, I couldn't tell you. I, I mean, I, I just had a whole bunch of them and I couldn't tell you where any of them came from. I mean, I guess the easy answer is pot, you know. A lot of them came from the copious amounts of weed intake that I participate in daily. Uh, that's probably where a lot of my thoughts stem from, but... You know, the fact that the thought goes into the words and now I'm capturing them, it's like a whole thing. You know, it really trips me out. And I'm the one, here's the thing, I'm the one that decided to do this too. You know, I'm the one who decided to sit down and do this. Nobody else told me to do this. You know, so it's like almost like torture. But, you know, like the good type of torture, you know, the type of torture where maybe like they're tickling you. You know, I don't think that's torture, but like now that I'm thinking about torture, like, you know, it's really terrible that I always think about that would be so terrible, like um, fingernails, like fingernail torture, like in the movies, I feel like they always stick the bamboo leads up the guy's like fingernails. And I don't know, man, that just sounds crazy to me. And now that I'm talking about fingernails, uh, excuse me, there's another thing gone. No need. I want no fingernails. And toenails. What is the point? You know, also kind of... What is the point of toes? Like, I get it. We have toes and they stabilize us. But it's like you're not picking things up with your toes. Never at any point were we picking things up with our toes. Why did they not make it more of like a flap? You know, I don't know if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. You know, we probably need the toes for stabilization. Otherwise, we'd like fall down. Like, if it was a flap, it would probably be a fin. But, like, we're not picking anything up with them. So that doesn't make sense to me. Furthermore, the fingernails on the toes make even less sense. I mean, think about this. It, maybe if it's under the toe, maybe if it's, like, a pad under the toe, like, you know, some animals have, like, pads and stuff. That makes sense. But, like, the flat nail on top of it does nothing for anyone. Does nothing for anyone. You know, I mean, think about how sexy we'd be if we just had, like, stubs, you know? We just had stubs, no nails. You know, I feel like the nail really accentuates the finger, and it makes it very strange. I'm realizing that I wish I brought more liquids out here today. You know, it was pretty cold today. It was the first day that it was like I woke up and got upstairs and was like, hmm, this is a bit chilly. You know, I didn't really like it. I mean, I kind of like it because I kind of feel like the cold builds character. You know, I kind of enjoy it for that reason. But like, it's weird, you know. And I've been getting up at like 630 to go to school to make it there for like 730, which was a problem today, actually. I woke up at 6.40 and got ready for school and everything. Was out the door at 7. You know, try to make it there at 7.30. I got like a 15-minute commute. 
you know, plus two minutes spent dill di- dilly dallying uh, on both sides. So, you know, I try to leave like seven, seven ten uh, to make it there for seven thirty. You know, maybe be there a couple minutes early. God forbid. God forbid I'm early to anything in my entire existence. You know, I want to blame my mother, but that's the easy way out. You know, she was always late for everything. Like, I was late for kindergarten, you know. And, like, you know if you're late for kindergarten, it's all downhill from there. You know, you can't even show up to kindergarten. I really should have seen the writing on the walls when I was in third grade. And every day I didn't do my homework. You know, it's kind of traumatizing. Really, like When I was in middle school, we had these, like, pay-up parties uh, and basically, like, they'd give you, like, $10, and if you, you know, if you forgot your homework, if you forgot a pen... Uh, if you forgot something in your locker, because there was a lot of that back in the day, you know, and I really benefited from not having lockers because in high school we didn't have lockers. You just kept everything in your backpack and you walked around with everything, which was great. But in middle school, we had lockers. So like between classes, we'd go to our locker and get stuff, which is so dumb when you think about it. For what reason? You know, thank God we canceled lockers, you know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that still goes on. I don't really go to school anymore. But, like, thank God. Like, that's a thing on the list of things that has to go. If you're keeping track at, Mah- at home, that's mosquitoes, cicadas, butterflies. I mean, honestly, we could do away with all insects. All creepy crawlies we really could do away with. You know, I understand some of them are good, like bees. And, you know, the spiders are supposed to, like... I've been trying to keep spiders away uh, alive recently. You know, it's been a new mission of mine to just kind of like let the spiders chill which you know is good for whatever but like it's also bad for whatever you know I I don't need like because the thing is I leave it alive and potentially it could kill a mosquito or I kill it and I have the peace of mind that there's no spider now I've been living my life real loose real risky real risky I've been living on the edge you know Call me crazy. I've just been leaving spiders alive. I've been walking away from spiders. Now, make no mistake, I saw some big ass fuckers the other day. Sorry. I really don't mean to drop that. You know, just sometimes it comes out. But, you know, there's a lot of things sometimes just coming out. You know, it's not my fault, you know. My dad was looking good, you know. It's not my fault. Bad joke. Whatever. I don't know spiders. I was talking about something before them, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of uh, oh toenails. And then what was I actually talking about before I just went off on that long tangential uh, side mission there? Who knows? Who knows? You know, I'm sorry if uh, I lost the point there. Because it's gone. You know, it's totally gone. You know, we're not going to go back. I know there were things that were said, and I didn't wrap up any of that, but we are going to go back to this. Sorry. I know. We're trying to do better. You know what I do want to say, though? Leave a comment. You know, I would love if you guys leave a comment. You know, I saw something earlier today that was hilarious. Uh, And I'm sure a lot of you saw that because a lot of people follow it. You know, it's really weird. I feel like we all see the same memes on our phones. You know, and and it's factual. We all see the same memes, like, on our phones. Like, people say things and, like, reference something. And then they won't realize that we've all seen it because we all have phones. And they all just, like, basically shove us the same stuff. You know, like, if you've never noticed, like, I feel like I always see the same memes over and over again, too. Like, I see the same shit over and over again. Like, I see the same couple things, like, five times. So it's like we all know what's going on at some times. And, you know, then people will, like, be shy about it and they'll be like, you know, this thing that I saw on the internet, like... No, it's a meme. You know, I know what it is. You know what it is. 
We're both looking at memes all day long on our phones. You know, everybody is. If you're not, I mean, hey, maybe you're not. You know, good for you, bud. You know, we're probably not friends if you're not because you're probably a psychopath if you're not looking at memes on your phone. Now, hey, maybe you're saying, Alec, I'm not a psychopath. Well, maybe then I'm the psychopath. Okay? Did you ever consider that for a second? Because you should consider that very strongly. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, this meme that I saw today, this guy was, uh, uh, shout out the Grape Juice Boys, not that that matters for anything, but that's where I saw it. Literally, my man, he's always breaking the fourth wall. You know, that's why I follow him, because I don't really follow a lot of meme pages. I kind of just, you know, I don't need that in my feed, because it's like, we're getting way too much of that in my your feed anyway. You know, there's too much, too much going on with that. You know, I'm making cuts consistently making cuts. You know, I'm excited to make cuts. When I look through my Instagram, I'm like, man, who can I unfollow today? You know, and it's not good, you know, but I'm looking, I'm actively looking to shorten the roster. Um, there's too much garbage. And it's like, if you give me garbage, you know, sometimes I'll think about it. You know, I'll roll it around in my head. There's a lot of times where I'll be like, okay, let's see what you post next. Because this was a bad one. This was a bad one, and I want nothing like this on my feed. If you do this again, you're gone. You know, I do that. I play that game a lot. And I give people second chances, you know. But, hey, listen, I'm actively making cuts. And it's not really, like, people I know. Like, most of the people I know, like, I follow them just because, like, I know them, you know. And it's like, imagine what it's going to be like 40 years from now or like 20 years from now or however long, you know, the point is that imagine seeing all those people that we know or like kind of know, because at this point it's like a bunch of people that I like kind of know and like 10 people I know, you know, it's crazy how much your, your circle really like shortens when like school is over and like, I haven't had a job in a year plus, so I have no work circle going on either, you know, which used to be a big group of people, you know, mind you, all degenerates, you know, not a circle you really would like to be a part of, but I did enjoy being a part of it, and I met a lot of great people there, a lot of great people, a lot of scary people. Um, I will tell you this, if you need to learn how to become a degenerate, hey, bust a few tables, you know, work in the restaurant a little bit. Um, you bust a couple tables you'll be begging for uh, drugs. I, You know, I was going to specify, but I shouldn't. You know, you bust a few tables, you'll take anything you can get. You know, you're like, this is hell. And it's really not, you know, it's really not that bad. But at the same time, it is bad. You know, working in the restaurant like that is just a special type of hell. You know, there's nothing like a good Sunday brunch to really make you, um, it's like hell. It's like hell. But it's such a good hell, too, because it's kind of like, you know, and I used to just walk around and get stoned, and that's the only reason I guess I enjoyed it. And also, I would just look for girls to talk to. Um, not saying that's a good thing. Excuse me. But, I mean, we're here to be honest. You know, we started the podcast off with lie. We're trying to minimize the lies. But, yeah, the restaurant. You know, there's a whole bunch of, like, layers of things that I just went through. But basically, all I was trying to say is fight in the comments, you know? That was the meme today that I saw. It said, screw it, fight in the comments. And I thought nothing could be more accurate. (laughs) Think about how much that breaks the fourth wall. Fight in the comments? <laughs> I mean, that's literally, you know, like, obviously, everybody's going to do it. And you know I had to read those comments. First comment, pineapple pizza. I I gave it a chuckle. You know, I started to look through some stuff, and then I was like, this is a verified account. Like, this guy's not going to, like, be trying to get into it with somebody. You know, looked through a million more, and some of them were good. Most of them were not that good. 
you know, I was really looking for people to like actually get into it. And most of it was people like, you know, realizing it and then not getting into it. But then I, you know, kept going, you know, as you would. I, I really enjoy reading comment sections. It's really terrible. But there's something about it that's hilarious. Just reading the comments and reading someone having an argument with someone. I mean, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think it's hard. You want to look at it. You can't look away. But that is the comment. Comment section is literal car crashes everywhere. On every video. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you go. Sports post, sneakers post, you know what section, comment section isn't uh, a car crash. Comment sections on women's photos. Uh, that's a lot of, it's a different type of car crash. It's almost like, um, it's more like uh, pedophiles anonymous. I don't want to say pedophiles because it's not like they're like, they're they're grown women, you know. Uh, those comment sections, and yeah, I follow those accounts. And yeah, I look at those account comments sometimes too, okay? Because I want to get a whiff of the world. I want to... That's not that's not what I wanted to say, but that's what came out. Like, I want to get a taste for it. I want to see what's going on and experience all the walks of life. So there's nothing like doing a deep dive on a comment section to understand a community of people because every comment section is a different community of people. Um, but the meme ones, I feel like, really brings a whole group of people together. The one that I really enjoyed, though, the one that, you know, and this is me, you know, I like metal, so, like, of course I was going to read through this comment section. Um, but the guy goes... Uh, he just said something about metal. You know, it's really not important what he said, but I thought it was hilarious because it was just people making, like, bold claims. It was a lot of, like, people being like, Joe Biden's a good guy. And then there was some, like, you know, stuff like that, which it was terrible. You know? And that's how I'm starting to think about it, you know, really. There's, you know, we got the NFL, we got basketball, you know, there's UFC, and there's politics. And come on, well, I'm going to watch politics over people literally beating the shit out of each other? Like, UFC is crazy. Crazy. Literal people beating the shit out of each other. Go outside and hit your friend in the head. You know, ask him how it feels. Or better yet, get him to hit you. Go outside and go ask a friend to hit you in the head. Or anywhere you, you please, you know. Anywhere you please. You know, I have lots of friends that would be willing to uh, strike you if you need a good striking. You know, if you need a friend to hit you, I have a friend for you, you know. I'm there for you in your time of needing a striking Tell me that doesn't hurt. You know, tell me it doesn't hurt. Tell me you're like, oh yeah, I enjoy that. You know, let's do that repeatedly. Let's hit each other in the head till somebody wins. You know, nobody wins. The only person that wins is me at home watching them. You know, thinking about, oh my God. You know, there's the one fight that I remember watching that's the craziest one ever. And I don't remember who it was. But this guy got his nose like smashed. And the guy just kept going for his nose he just kept going for his nose and he finally like it was shattered it was like literally there was no skin it was just like bone and blood spewing out this man's face and they called the fight they said that's it like we're not this is done he lost but the man kept going which is insane but you know what it's crazy because a lot of those fighters do that like a lot of those fighters have broken noses and like don't even know it Slash, like, just live with it. Because if you leave your broken nose for a certain amount of time, you can't get it fixed. You have to, or to get it fixed, you have to get it broken again. You know, um, like, Justin Gaethje, like, has broken his nose, like, a, a whole bunch of times. And that's why he talks the way he does. Like, if you ever heard him, like, talk real nasally, it's because his nose is messed up and his sinuses are messed up. And he said it's messed up and he's like, I'm just going to... 
you know, but whatever. Whatever. Guy was saying, literally, fight in the comment section. And I was looking. You know, I wanted to see some good fights. And they were brewing. You know, maybe I checked it a little too early. Because they were brewing. You know, and I, I don't like that. You know, I don't want to see you fighting. You know, although a lot of people do it. And sometimes you see it and it's hard to not get involved. It's it's weird. It's wild out there, really. It's wild out there. We just have access to like every person in the whole world. And it's crazy. Because some people use it for good. And some people use it for not good. People are using it for all kinds of things. And it is bizarre. I mean, you know, not to think about that like that. Because you think about that, you're going to go crazy. You're going to not have a good day. You're going to have a bad day. But yeah, I've been getting up early. I've been getting up at 6.30. You know, more like 6.40. You know, I set the first alarm for 6.30 and then I set the second alarm for 6.40. And I just kind of give it like, you know, I give it that 10 minutes. And it's crazy because sometimes I'll just sleep through the first one. And I probably should make a third one because I've been getting sneakily close to sleeping through the third one. I'll sit there and try and pretend like I'm awake. But in reality, I'm not awake. I'm not even close to awake. You know, I'm I'm kidding myself, telling myself I'm awake. Meanwhile, you know, I better have hit the snooze button because I'm not going to wake up, you know. I don't know, but I've been trying to do it. You know, it's been good. You know, I feel very accomplished. You know, because it's like a, as a flip side to that, like, there was a good year, like, good two years of, like, waking up, of, like, going to bed at six in the morning, of, like, going to bed so damn late and waking up at, like, three and shit. There were a lot of days I woke up at 3 during coronavirus. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout out the vid. Big time. A lot of days. You know what was crazy though? I really realized about myself like I don't like the clock. You know? And that's why I don't understand why we can't kind of control the sun because I feel like it'd be helpful. And I understand, you know, the, the earth is spinning you know, the sun is a planet. Bada, 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 bada. You know, why don't we just all live underground like worms? Why don't we just become worms? You know, I'm cool with that. I say we exterminate the insects and we become the insects. We become creepy, wiggling worms. You know, I'll be a caterpillar. You know, I don't care. I'll wear, I'll have the spikes and be a fuzzy caterpillar that looks mad spooky. You know, one of the ones that you would not really want to step on. Because you're scared it might poison you through your shoe. One of those caterpillars. If I could pick an insect, you know. And I know, like, those guys probably get harvested on big time. But to me, I'm not, I don't like those guys. So, I'm just trying to take one for the team here. Yeah, but what I realized is that I could be... See, look at that. I, I remembered. You know, I went on a tangent and then I came back. That's like the eighth time I've done that. And very little times have I come back. You know, I just go down another path and another path. And it doesn't work. You know, it doesn't work. I, I'm i unloading the backpack of knowledge. You know, I have nothing in my backpack of knowledge. I take nothing with me. You know, I travel light. You know, I travel light. I'm trying to keep the joints, you know, good. And you never know what I got to pick up. Like, so I travel light. My backpack of knowledge, I keep that shit empty. My backpack of intoxication is always full, though. You know, I always remember to be prepared. I always have weed with me or the possibility of weed with me. Unless, of course, I've prepared for no weed with me, and that means that we're probably going on a bender. Because I don't really, like, if I'm going on a bender and I'm getting all that alcohol intake, I'm probably not going to need any weed intake. Although I don't mind it, you know. I don't mind it. Because it's like, I'm always smoking pot. Always. Constantly. If you can tell by this sketchy ass shed I'm in. Like, what else do you think I do in here? Do you think I crochet in here? Do you think I knit in here? What do you think I've been doing in here for 
years. You think I just built this to record a podcast? Think again. Right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to drink out of this cup and there's only ice in here. It's fucked up. And then I cursed again. That's how pissed I am. Nah, but for real, you think I built this to record a podcast? And here I am, losing all my backpack and knowledge. The train of thought went into a tunnel. You know, I know that's cheesy. Oh, how about this? Al-Qaeda hijacked my airplane of thought. Come on, Al-Qaeda. Sneaky Al-Qaeda hijacking my airplane of thought. Actually, Malaysian Air Airlines took over the flight and just took my plane of thought and just lost it. We don't know what happened to it. I mean, still to this day, the Malaysian Airlines airline airplane is gone. I mean, how many people were on that? Just gone. You know, why don't we hear about that? News? CNN, where's the Malaysian airline? Where's the Malaysian airline, CNN? I mean, come on, people. You know, everybody's out here worrying about, you know, oh, COVID. Oh, did you get the new strain? You know, where's Malaysian Airlines? Where have they been? You know, how come they're not picking people up? You know, maybe. ones with that middle row. You know, like the middle row you always see on the movies, but I've never been on one of those planes. Never have I been on a plane ride with the middle row. You know, and I hope to one day be on a plane ride where the middle row is going on. Although at the same time, I feel like that's not me. You know, I feel like that's not a plane I would like to be on. You know, that's just too much. You know, the plane that just has two people. You know, six, three and three. That's a lot. You know, we're going to do a row of five or whatever the hell that is in the movie. In the middle. You know, that's too much. That's only in the movies. I've never seen that in real life. You know, comment right now below if you've seen that. I know you won't. I know nobody will. If you've seen that, I want to know. Maybe I'll have you on. You know, maybe we'll get about that. Directly about that. Directly about flying planes or what? Oh, uh, planes with the middle row. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that there's not more like issues with planes. You know, like it's so crazy. But let's stop thinking about that. All I want to know is investigate Malaysian Airlines. You know, find the people, bring them home, bring Malaysian Airlines home. It's damn messed up. All right, let's go back to what I was talking about. I don't know what it was, but we're going to continue with the waking up early in the morning. You know, here's the thing. Like, I think of a topic that I want to talk about, and then I talk nothing about the topic. You know, but what is there to say about getting up early in the morning? Like, it sucks. Oh, this is what I was saying. COVID, like, I realized, like... <laughs> I, I realized that I'm... Human being. No, I realized um, that I'm addicted to masturbation. No, I meant to say during COVID, I realized that I feel like I could be up for more than 24 hours a day. Or I feel like the day could be longer than, or ideally, I would like the day to be longer than 24 hours. Now, hear me out. I know that's crazy. You know, I know we can't change it too. So I don't really want to, like, you know, I'm not trying to mess with the whole world. If I was president, I would make the day at least 26 hours, maybe 28. I think 28. Now, here's the thing, you know, and a lot of people I feel like would agree with this because a lot of people don't even get that full eight hours of sleep. But what I started noticing about myself is that I can stay up for at least six hours a day, if not eight hours. Excuse me.
this but 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 the the eight is never enough, but it should be enough if it's consistent, you know, and you're not wasted. But if you're wasted, hey, you gotta be careful. And that's the stuff that I don't think you should do. Don't stop, you know. I'm not gonna tell you to stop. I'm not gonna tell you to stop. I'm not gonna tell you to stop. Stop, you know. But I'm not gonna ask you to stop. You gotta know what's gonna come right through. Maybe I rewatch this and myself. Hey, Alec. Yeah, you out. My bad. I just had to tell myself a little message for when I listen to this back a little bit later. But yeah, uh, again, just had a little Malaysian Airlines going on there, and I hope that to anybody. I hope nobody knows someone who was on the Malaysian Airlines. You know, you probably don't because I don't even know. Like, who, why would you be going to Malaysia? What's in Malaysia? And I understand there's things that are going on in Malaysia. Maybe you have family in Malaysia. That's that's honestly the only acceptable reason. Like, if you're going on vacation, why would you go to a vacation in Malaysia? Now, maybe it's beautiful. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just going to stop talking about Malaysia. I mean, it can't be beautiful, though. They're losing flights left and right. They just want to Again, drinking from a cup with nothing in it. But yeah, no, I just feel like the day could be longer. You know, I feel like I could be up for like 18 to... I did, I did a full 24 once, which was really nice. But like, like I could stay up between like eight, 16 to 20 hours a day. 18 probably, for sure. But the thing is that you need like 10 hours of sleep. So 18 plus 10, 28. That's four extra hours. 16 plus 10, that's 26. You know, and it has to be all even numbers. You know, we can't do 9 and 15 because I don't mess with odd numbers. You know, it's bad luck. But it could be. It could be 9 and 15. Because you know what? That's still, well, that's 24 actually. That's a weird split though. I, You know, because 15 is, is weird. I find myself having to do like 12 hours awake though sometimes and then I'm sitting in bed like trying to wake up early the next day and it's not working. It's just a problem. It's a problem. I just feel like the day should be longer. That's all. I wish there were more hours. I would stay up longer and I would sleep longer. You know what though? I would sacrifice. I would like if we could make the day 28 hours, I would never touch myself again. That is my confession. And I'm confessing that to you, Jesus Christ. So hear my prayer um, and forgive my sins. I have been myself too much and I will stop if we can make the day long. Okay? That's all I'll say about that. That's all I'll say. I did a really weird thing once and I'm going to try to explain it. I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, convey this message even close to, like, how it's speaking. So I was thinking, you know, about how it should be longer than it should be. And, you know, what happens with that is, like, you know, during COVID when the time wasn't real. So say I started going to sleep 12 one day. I went to sleep 12 then one day. Wake up at 10. You know, stay up. You know, the day... Like, you know, I sleep longer than eight hours, and then I'll stay up longer than 16 hours. And if you do that, that's more than 24. So instead of the day before going to sleep at 12, you'd go to sleep at 1 the next day. So progressively, going to sleep at 6 and waking up sometime around 2, 3, which is terrible because then your whole day's gone when you wake up at 2, 3. You know, the worst thing and the last thing you want to be doing is going to sleep when the sun's up. You know, there's nothing worse than staying up through all the darkness and going to sleep when the sun's up. Like, nothing feels more unaccomplishing. Nothing feels more unaccomplishing than seeing the sun come up and you're still awake. It generally means you've stayed up doing drugs all night. Honestly, probably the worst thing you can do. I know it's happened a lot of times, but that really is 
the only acceptable reason. And if you're not with a girl, then it's kind of weird. It's like, just figure it out. You know, because I, you can probably do anything, you know, if the girl wants to do it. And, you know, I understand that. But if you are staying up that late, I mean, I don't know what's good. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any answers for anything, really. But for that specifically, no answers. None. I know I've been doing this for a little too much, and I don't expect that from you. But I'm just gonna like. Because really, you only need doses. You only need doses. I only want doses. I got things to do. I gotta move along. Not really, but I'd like to pretend to. Oh, I do kind of have to move along. I was actually, I'm actually trying to get a job. You know, I know I talked about that last time. But I don't think that really worked out. You know, I talked to the guy. You know, he called me back. We talked, and I thought it was going to work out. And he said he'd call me tomorrow. And tomorrow went by, and he didn't call me. And then the next day, I tried to call him back. Nothing. You know, and normally that's like the point where you'd probably give up or you'd probably wouldn't like even send you know, a girl or something like that. You know, I know that's the analogy we're using. You would just kind of like let it expire. You'd be like, whatever. This person didn't like return my call. Like they obviously want nothing to do with me. Like I could pick up this tip. But with a job, it's like I'm going to be persistent because I don't want to like miss out on that opportunity like that. So I said it to him, texted him again, and I texted him today. It's Monday, uh, September. I like to say that in the beginning of the episode, and I really should remember to say that in the beginning of the episode, but I didn't, okay? So live with it, um, you know? And you probably have gone this whole episode thinking, what is the date? Because, you know, you listened to the last one, or maybe you didn't. And, you know, you're following up on things that happened, like this job that I talked about last time and did a poor job of. But, hey, whatever. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. It didn't really, hasn't really panned out exactly how I would like it to. And, you know, I don't know, you know, what I did wrong. You know, that's usually how this goes. You're usually like, what did I do wrong? And then you're like, oh, yeah, I cheated, you know. And, you know, then you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to, Buy a bottle of lotion then. Um, but yeah. Didn't really work out. Um, you know, I mean, maybe it will. But like, I need to get a job. So I reached out to my uh, good friend, uh, Benjamin. Uh, shout out your cat. Shout out Benny's cat. Uh, I don't know. What did he call it? Zenji or something? <laughs> I feel like it starts with a Z. I don't know. It's a cute cat. Yeah, so, so I reached out to my good friend uh, Benji to try to get a job. So that is something that I would like to do today. It's more like a, a prestigious job, but it'd be fun, you know. I, it'd be fun to do that. That's really the only reason why I'm doing that. Because I was going to think about maybe doing DoorDash. But, like, I would like to work with a friend. I always enjoy working with a friend. And I don't know how many more times that's going to happen. So I figured, you know, one more shitty job couldn't hurt. Um, school and hopefully get an electrician job and that's it you know essentially i mean there's a lot more than that but it's roughly it what was the other thing that i wanted to oh this yes yeah, so i mean the short story is and i hate to just continually bring up the masturbation but it is a very i don't want to say important but important is definitely could be used it's a central topic of thought and uh life for me it's just it's found its way into another conversation here today but literally i think i messed up my wrist um yeah which is fine because i can go lefty but i mean let's just stop the on the problem like i'm 
I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I mean, I do know what the solution is, but like, this isn't what I needed, doctor. I didn't need a thumb guard. I have another thumb. I needed a goddamn chastity belt. And I don't know if that's what it's called, but I think that's what it's called. And throw the key away. You know? Restrict me from use of the wiener. Then the thumb will get better. You know, the guy goes, literally, he goes, oh, do you do a lot of, like, motion? Do you do a lot of, like, up and down motion, like, repeatedly? And first thought is, eh, twice a day, sometimes three on a lucky day. And I go, yeah, I like to drum a lot, which isn't a lie. It's kind of a lie. Uh, I don't drum a lot. I definitely don't drum as much as I should. Um, And I actually, it's funny, I noticed the pain, and then I've been drumming a lot this week because I wasn't at the gym. Because, like, I thought it, I thought it was from the gym. I really thought it was from the gym, and I really do think it's from the gym. It, in all honesty, it it's funny to think that it could have been, like, a... Um, That's Dom out there. It's funny to think that it would be like a, a masturbation like injury, but I really don't think that that's what it is. It could be. It could be. And if it is, again, this is the wrong thing. You know, give me a cock belt. Don't give me a hand belt. But yeah, no, I went in because like the wrist has been messed up for like a week. You know, and I didn't go to the gym at all that whole week. No gym. You know, which was rough, believe it or not. You know, I know I'm sure some of you are like, it'd be rough if I was going to the gym. But for me, like the way that I've just been like there so much, like it just like really helps me deal with just about everything. Because like, to be perfectly honest, the mental state is uh, very loose. I don't know if loose is the word. Rough. I was trying to say rough without saying rough. That's what it is. So, like, the only, like, good way to, like, deal with that really for me has been going to the gym. Um, yeah, so I couldn't go to the gym. So, yeah, that's been rough, but that's besides the point. You know, uh, I hate that. I, I literally hate that, though. If I'm not there, like, I just get so, like, ugh. I get bogged down. Get in the funk, you know? Hate to continually bring up the funk, but it's true. But anyway, you know, I thought it was because of that, and I think it is because of that. But the doctor literally was like, it's fine. You know, it's been a week of being messed up. And then yesterday, you know, I'm feeling it, and I'm like, this is messed up. And I started touching, like, the back of it, and I'm like, what the hell is this bone protruding? Like, and I don't know if you've ever really, like, looked at your hand, but your hand is messed up. Like, Google bones in the hand. You know, the bones in the hand are crazy. Absolutely insane. There's like eight bones that make up this square. It's crazy. So anyway, like I, I started like, and, and you don't think about that, you know? And then I started thinking, about that, like, what's good with the bones in my hand? How are they connected? You know, sometimes you take for granted the things you do. Like when you like, you know, for example, one of the big ones that I think about is whenever I shut my finger in a door or something, like what is that doing to the finger and the bone? You know, but anyway, like it's just like, I don't know. I freak about, I freak out about a different body part of mine every day and the bones in it every day. Like I've been constantly freaking out about my fibula or my tibula. I'm not really sure what it is, the small bone in your leg. I just feel like it's not in the socket properly. Like when I was getting my uh, thing x-rayed, I kind of wanted to be like, hey, like, do you think you could also like x-ray my knee and my ankle as well to see what's good with those? <laughs> just x-ray the whole thing. Let me know if there's problems anywhere because, you know, I just don't know what's going on. You know, I made that joke last time, but really I should be going to the doctor just like every day and just getting checked up. Just checking it out. I'm sure somebody listening to this is like, it's not. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty and I didn't bring enough liquids out. I literally have a jug of water sitting in the 
die. You know, I minimize. But yeah, I mean that was The Witcher outside. So I don't really know what we're talking about. about the bones and the way they're connected in the hand it's crazy like and if you're looking at the picture of the bones in the hand you're like wow that's going on inside my hand yeah I mean, think about how connected that is how much we rely on the hand all day long for so many things like painting artistry bible reading writing letters but yeah, no, I was freaking out about it all day yesterday and today because, like, I Googled the bones in the hand and I was looking at the scaphoid bone, you know, and I was like, hmm, what's my scaphoid bone? And then I started, like, you know, like, looking at some stuff and it started talking about if your scaphoid bone, like, I started looking up uh, scaphoid bone injury. You know, I didn't want to look up fracture or bruise or anything. I didn't know what types of injuries. I just wanted to, like, you know, scan it. And it was talking about all kinds of terrible stuff, like, you know, does your thumb hurt? I'm like, shit. Yeah. Do you think it might be your wrist? Hmm. Yeah. Like, it just kept going on. Like, are you unable to hold things properly? And I was like, yeah. The drums. Or do that other thing. It's in serious pain. Like, what is this? Have you been doing a lot of like repeated up and down motion with your wrist? Which could be drum. But the hand was injured before the drum. So in this situation, the drumming is crossed off the list. It's crossed off. So at this point, we're either looking at masturbation or lifting. Now I'm really thinking it's lifting, and I really am thinking it's lifting. But Doc said lay off the drumming this week, so I guess we're going to have to lay off the masturbation this week because he literally didn't even say that about... He's like, literally, he just said, after you work out, ice your hand. That's what he said. He didn't say, don't work out. He said, don't drum after you work out, ice your hand. Don't drum, doctor. He knows. He's on to me. He's way on to me. You know, he's like, are you... The regular physician, who's your regular physician? He's like, you know, looking all concerned, like, oh, thank God it's not me. You know, but he said I might have to go to, I don't know. He said if it continues to be bad that I could have to go to hand therapy or see a hand specialist. I don't know. I might just need a girlfriend. I mean, maybe that would work. You know, easier said than done, but I think that would limit the uh, hand motion. Crazy though, when I was at the doctor today, like they, the lady asked me if I was, uh, I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want the, yeah, whatever. That's it. Peace. Oh, not peace. Go Giants, cuz dogs. Go Giants, cuz dogs. Appreciate you listening if you listened. Appreciate it. Shout out Jelly.